Um, I'm Becky Kimmins, um, and I am an instructor in the interior design program. I teach anything from intro courses to some of the high level ones. So you will probably see me at least once, probably several times throughout the program. So I, when I first went to college a long time ago, um, I started off as an English major actually. And partway into it, I was like, well, what do you do with an English major besides teach? And I don't wanna be a teacher. Haha. <laughs> so um, I have always had an interest in interior design as well, and I did some more research into it and figured out like what all went into it. And so I switched to interior design. Um, from there, I ended up in commercial design, so doing office renovations, um, office design, going through that, and really loved it. I did a lot of project management. And then I have a daughter who is, um, she's seven now. She was three at the time when I was like, you know what? I'm just really missing out on a lot of her time. So at the time I had met Miss Burton and Chattahoochee Tech and came and started teaching and have never regretted it. So one of the things that I love about interior design program and especially at Chattahoochee Tech is we have a range of students. So anywhere from students right out of high school. Um, we also have second career students that they've done something, they've been working and just realize this isn't really what I wanna do. I wanna try something different. Um, most of our students, when they get started, don't really know everything that interior design encompasses. I think I was that way when I started. You think, you know that you like design aesthetic, you like working with color and fabrics and furniture, and um, a lot of times people are like, I love the idea of renovating. Um, and so when we dive into it, you realize all the skill sets you get to really do that. And we also try to focus on dealing with the clients because that's the other part of it. Um, so how do you communicate with them? How do you make sure they get your vision that's in your head? How do you get that out into paper? Um, and then just seeing it come to fruition? How do you make it built? How do you go through that? And we try to do a lot of field trips too, so that the students, you guys get to see what something looks like in different stages of building um, and just understand how all that comes together. So our lab space is a huge uh, benefit to our students and to the program. We've really pulled together samples of everything you would need materials wise, tools wise in the industry. We really try to replicate kind of what you would find in an interior design library in a design firm um, so that you can work with that and get used to having that as you go through. And it gives you a great realistic and pretty up to date items to work for with your project. So I am always open to questions and any question is fine. Um, I will typically say if you're struggling with something, especially like software is where lots of times you just get stuck, spend five, maybe 10 minutes and then reach out to me. That's what I'm here for to help you with. That is what I see as like one of my main roles is not just standing up front and teaching you, but being there to answer your questions as you go through. So thank you for tuning in and listening to me talk about myself. Um, I look forward to seeing you in class and hearing more about you.